Hello, lovely people. Welcome once again to Abinasia's Recipes. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I share with you a mashed sweet plantain, also called eto, a traditional dish that is enjoyed by many tribes in Ghana. Let's get right into the ingredients. So I'll be using a semi-ripe plantain, peanut butter, red onion, habanero pepper, three eggs, scallion, avocado, also half palm oil, and then roasted dry peanuts. I'll cut the head and the tail of the plantain, and then I'll use my knife to cut through the skin of the plantain, and then remove the skin of the plantain. When making a tall or mashed sweet plantain, you can use a green plantain and a very ripe plantain to make it but i'm using a semi-ripe plantain meaning that it is sweet but not too sweet and then i'll use my knife to cut the plantain into three pieces just like that guys so i went ahead and put water on the stove so i'll go ahead and put my plantain in and then i'll put in my habanero pepper and my three eggs and we'll boil everything together and it should be done cooking within 10 to 15 minutes so we'll cover and then now let's go ahead and grind our onion and scallion so I'll go ahead and slice half of my red onion and then I'll be using an earthenware and a wooden grinder also called tapoli to grind my vegetables and I have about four leaves of scallion that I'm cutting into my earthenware and then I'll sprinkle about a teaspoon of salt and then I grind guys so an earthenware dish is a Ghanaian grinding pot that is made out of clay with ridges inside and the grinding stick is also called tapoli this is the traditional name for these two and you can find this at the African market yes at a very low cost so if you need one please visit any African shop and then you can find these two grinders all right so I went ahead and added in my habanero pepper and then I've grinded it and I'm adding two heaping tablespoon of peanut butter and guys I like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing we finally made it to 200 subscribers and I'm truly grateful thank you guys so much for your support thank you for subscribing God richly bless you my peanut butter is all mixed in so I'll go ahead and check my plantain and it is cooked so I'll go ahead and drain the water off and then we'll begin mashing and for the meantime I have about a quarter cup of palm oil on the stove melting we'll be adding it to our mashed plantain all right guys so we are ready to mash our plantain so I went ahead and put four of the plantains inside the earthenware and I'm beginning to mash it. When mashing your plantain, I suggest you keep your plantain very hot. It makes it very easy to grind and it grinds very fast as well. When it cools down, it becomes very hard to grind. Yes, you can grind it, but you will end up finding too many lumps inside so i suggest that whenever you're making your mash sweet plantain please make sure your plantain stays hot so i went ahead and added the remaining into the grinding pot and then i'm grinding it yes so the grinding process is very interesting all you have to do is keep mashing it with a wooden stick to a very smooth texture Yes, yeah, so I'm going ahead to use my spoon to kind of clean around the edges of the grinding pot and then I'll continue mashing. All right, so my palm oil is melted, so I'll go ahead and use a tablespoon to spread my palm oil on the plantain. I just didn't want to add everything at once. All right, so you can choose to add everything at once or you can choose to gradually add your palm oil on the plantain and then I'll continue to mash. All right, so please add your palm oil as needed. If you don't like any palm oil on this recipe, do not add palm oil. It will taste just as good. Yes, so I'll go ahead and keep mashing until the palm oil is very well mixed in. 
and also to a smooth texture. Now my mash plantain is all done. So this is the texture that you're going for. Very smooth, very soft. So I'll then go ahead and garnish it with three boiled eggs. You can add more if you want. And then I'll sprinkle my green onion on it. Yes, all of this come together to a delicious and amazing taste. And I'll sprinkle lightly salted dry roasted peanuts also for garnishing and avocado as well. All of this come together to a delicious and amazing taste guys. And this dish is enjoyed by many tribes in Ghana. This is how the traditional eto is prepared in Ghana. Yes. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. Thank you. God bless you. Please stay safe. Bye guys.